Hello, I am Girish Kishnani. And you are watching, 5 Minute Learnings. In last video we learned about types and basics of memory, in this video we will learn about sensory memory in detail. What is sensory memory? Sensory memory is a very short storage for information from the senses. It persists briefly and allows for processing even after the stimulus has ended. It allows you to retain brief impressions of information so you can interpret and interact with the world around you. In some instances, this information may be transferred to short-term memory, but in most cases, it quickly fades. While sensory memory may be brief, it is very crucial as it gives the brain some time to process the incoming sensations, and to allow us to see the world as an unbroken stream of events rather than as individual pieces. Types of sensory memory, experts believe that different senses have different types of sensory memory. And they have a slightly different span of durations. Iconic memory, also known as visual sensory memory, it involves a very brief image of what we see. Iconic memory typically lasts for about one quarter to one half of a second. Echoic memory, also known as auditory sensory memory, it involves very brief memory of sound, a bit like an echo. Echoic memory can last for up to 3 to 4 seconds. Haptic memory, also known as tactile memory, it involves the very brief sensation of a touch. Haptic memory can last for approximately 2 seconds. There are two other types of iconic memories. Photographic memory, it is the ability to recall a past scene in detail with great accuracy, just like a photograph. Although many people claim that they have it, we still don't have proof that it actually exists. Eidetic memory, the idea of eidetic memory is similar to of a photographic memory, but the two are not exactly the same. It is the ability to vividly recall an image you are exposed to, but only briefly, for example, someone may be able to continue to see a picture that they have been shown, even a few minutes after the picture is removed. Examples of sensory memory Examples of iconic memory include situations where you briefly have an image in your head after the sight is gone. For instance, after turning off a flashlight, there is a brief image of the light in your memory. Or, after glimpsing an exit sign on the interstate, you can briefly see the image in your mind. An example of echoic memory would be the brief memory of the blare of a car horn or the sound of an instrument, even after the noise has ended. Haptic memory examples might include the brief memory of something brushing up against your skin, in each instance. The very brief lingering memory you experience allows you to recognize and process the experience. Characteristics of sensory memory Sensory memory is an automatic process, it occurs automatically without conscious control. Sensory memory is limited in duration and capacity. It lasts very briefly and is almost immediately replaced by new information. Researchers have found that attention to the stimulus has only a weak impact on sensory memory. The type of memory stored is specific to the sensory modality, in other words, echoic memory stores auditory information, iconic memory stores only visual information, and haptic memory stores only tactile information. Information stored in sensory memory includes a great deal of detail. Sperling Sensory Memory Experiments The duration of sensory memory was first investigated during the 1960s by psychologist George Sperling. In a classic experiment, participants stared at a screen and rows of letters were flashed very briefly, for just one twentieth of a second. Then, the screen went blank, the participants then immediately repeated as many of the letters as they could remember seeing. While most of the participants were only able to report about four or five letters, some insisted that they had seen all the letters but that the information faded too quickly as they reported them. Inspired by this, Sperling then performed a slightly varied version of the same experiment. Participants were shown the three rows, of four letters per row, for one twentieth of a second, but immediately after the screen went blank, participants heard either a high-pitched, medium-pitched or low-pitched tone, if subjects heard the high-pitched tone, they were to report the top row, those who heard the medium-pitched were to report the middle row, and those who heard the low-pitched were to report the bottom row. 
When the interval was extended to over one-third of a second, the accuracy of the letter reports declined significantly, and anything over one second made it virtually impossible to recall the letters. Sperling suggested that because the participants focused on the indicated row before their visual memory faded, they could recall the information. The recall was nearly impossible when the tone was sounded after sensory memory faded. In the next video, we will discuss short-term memory in detail. Hope you found this video useful, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, 5-Minute Learnings. And do remember to hit the bell icon, to get notified of the new videos, thanks for watching.